What is up, guys? It is ZKC Mena back here again on Borderlands. The little pre sequel. Um, today we are going to be going over the update notes for Borderlands the pre sequel. This update was released December twelfth, twenty fourteen. But I did not. I have not been able to make a video because I was not on yesterday. And for thing, I had things to do with family. Um. But yeah, um, today we will be going over the update notes. I'm starting right here at the load character screen for the fact that, um, first update, um, uh, added true, or added ultimate vault hunter mode to unlock for all players that have completed the true vault hunter mode in the main game. And as you see, true ultimate vault hunter mode is now open. Uh, I'll go over some of the other updates. Um, Beacon in To the Moon mission now has more health than Tree Vault Hunter mode. Um, the doppelganger will now begin with the, begin the game with a working echo log because uh, the echo log was not working on it. Uh, if you didn't know that. Um, enable the handsome AI side mission in main game for all three playthroughs. Uh, don't know if that was a mission that was already in the game, but that seems pretty cool. I'm going to check out that side mission soon. I will probably exit right now and do that as we speak. Um, fix an issue where only two stingrays could be destructed, where only two, or be destructed when accessing a moon zoomy station in Spanish or Russian. It's not for my game, sorry if, if, uh, so if you have a Spanish or Russian game, uh, that will now be fixed, um, we're gonna go in a jack, because I have completed every side mission on True 100 mode with jack, so it should be open, um, uh, now added shift support ID dialogue, I have no clue what that is, but I'll probably figure out what that is soon. Fix an issue where the second player in a split screen game was unable to use the shift vending machine. I don't know if, um, like, I don't know about that. I don't know about the, the, that um, one, so, I don't know, I never had a problem with it, um, it always worked for me, but, um, yeah. Um, next update um fixed an issue where doppelganger's dialogue overlapped with pickles uh i that did happen to me um uh because when i was doing one of the missions for pickle um fixed an issue that caused players to crash during first combat at start of pity fall uh i never had that happen to me but if you have um then that was fixed um I think this is probably one of the better updates to the game because obviously UVHM is now here. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. This. Sorry for not uploading. I haven't been able to upload because um, I haven't been playing Xbox that much. I stopped playing Xbox for the week so I can do some schoolwork because I'm currently failing some classes. Oh, Nakayama. Mission is from Nakayama. Um, I don't know, like, is that like that? I never knew that. Noticed that. Um, I don't know what this mission will be about. I don't know how long it is, but we're going to go through the mission. Um, okay, I guess you're supposed to be over here. Back it up and I can see her. Okay, we go to terminal. Um, this mission seems kind of weird. Don't know what the mission reward was. I think it's like a green weapon. Uh, next update added support for Ultimate Vault Hunter Mode upgrade pack. The Hollow Dome Onslaught download add on. So it pretty much already has all the stuff for, um, the update or the Hollow Dome Onslaught pack in the game right now, so 
if you are some kind of hacking person, you can probably hack it and do that. Um, but this update does not release until the 16th of December, which is when the DLC comes out on PS3 and PC. Uh, it is out on Xbox for some reason, I don't know. Uh, next, addressed an issue that could cause a user's inventory to disappear after exiting a multiple, multiplayer session. This happens a lot to me. Um, I don't know if it's happened to you guys, but it happened way too many times to me. Um, but, oh my god, why is my battery rank up to 17,000? Uh, whatever. Um, but I don't know if, um, like, you've had that happen, but I know definitely I have. Uh, like, and there is still this glitch in the game. I don't know. I haven't done anything on the game yet, so I'm gonna have to go and check that out. But sometimes when I'm in a multiplayer match, I will actually when we go to the sentinel uh, all my weapons will disappear um my inventory will disappear everything's gone um yeah that happens quite a lot to me especially when i'm playing on the claptrap i don't know i don't know if it happens to you guys but definitely happens to me um i don't know why i'm doing that right now um okay um that is all the uh, updates that are on this update. Um, next, we have the uh, hard-coded hotfixes that they added on December 12th. Um, these are just hotfixes. Um, uh, Jack is now better, better... Jack now better find his way around the moon base during a mission. The mission... Uh, a new direction. Um, I didn't know he couldn't find his way around the moon base, but okay. Um, Dr. Torres will let you out of the aquarium if your party is split up during the mission, science and violence. Um, that, I have had it to where I was stuck in the aquarium and I had to go all the way back, uh, through. Um, it happened to me on my claptrap playthrough on, uh, Travolt Hunter mode. And then, uh, my normal playthrough of, uh, Jack. Uh, it, it can block you for a little bit. Um, mechanics have made some adjustments to the grinder to help it dispense proper weapon types. Um, I don't know what that means, but we'll see sometime. Uh, yeah. Uh, the Titan Robot Production Plant entrance is now a discoverable location, allowing players to unlock Cosmic Completionist Trophy slash Achievement. Um, I think I have the Cosmic Completionist Achievement, so I don't know what that is about. Um, so, looks like it could use another um but yeah... <coughs> I don't know if there's a second mission to this, but yeah, that's yeah. There's only one mission. Um, uh, yeah, I already have the Cosmic Completionist achievement, so if you do not have that, uh, that it's probably gonna have you how you get it. Um, adjusted gravity on the moon buggy to make jumping chasm chasm easier. Um, I know jumping over things with the moon buggy is not really something that anybody does because most people use the stingray, but um, yeah, that is there. Players can now continue their journeys in Tycho's Ribs and Elephir and the fast travel stations and those levels will unlock once discovered. I never knew that they didn't unlock, so, um, yeah, I didn't know that, um, yeah, uh, Deadlift is now much less likely to block solo Vault Hunters from em entering his lair. I don't get... I don't, I never knew that it blocked you, so, um, yeah, I don't know that, um, address is an issue where the object to pass through the breach could fail to advance in the mission, the, be the beginning of the end. 
Uh, so I don't even know what that part is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I beat the game like 16 times, and I don't even know what the fuck that is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um... Uh, yeah. So that is all the updates for Borderlands Physical. Um, uh, I am going to be going through Ultimate 100 mode with all my characters soon. So, uh, I'll start up Ultimate 100 mode soon. Uh, I might do a playthrough. On either my claptrap or my jack of it, but um, if you're even gonna subscribe to my channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, you know, all that good shit. Um, and uh, yeah, expect the Ultimate Wall Hunter mode playthrough coming soon. So, well, not soon, maybe a week or two. I still gotta do it. Uh, but yeah, um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.